Just in time for President's Day and Abraham Lincoln's 205th birthday, a new book is out all about Lincoln. It's called Lincoln's Boys, John Hay, John Nicolay, and the War for Lincoln's Image. Author Joshua Zeitz joins us now. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So this story is told through the eyes of two of Lincoln's closest aides, right? That's right. Uh, Hay and Nicolay were both in their early 20s when they started working for Abraham Lincoln just before he was elected president. Uh, and then after his election, he took them to Washington and they, they lived and worked in the White House. So I know this sounds really weird, but you know, growing up as a kid in America, you feel mm -hmm. like you've got this, you know Lincoln, from mm -hmm. what they've told you. Mm -hmm. You've done a lot of research, you've written a book, and it's a completely different perspective. What are some of the things that we don't know about Lincoln? You know, I think one of the things uh, that I tried to address is that we, we forgot that Lincoln actually was a widely unpopular and discredited president uh, during most of his term and certainly 10, 15 years after his death. Uh, and ultimately, he required uh, a kind of historical reconstruction job, which is what Hay and Nicolay did for him. Um, you know, he was controversial and at times um, uh, not particularly well regarded among the nation's intellectual elite when he was president. That tends to happen a lot with the historical figures, doesn't it? We romanticize and make it seem like they were loved and everybody was on one accord when they were doing some really important work. I think that's exactly right. Also, you know, it takes a while for people to appraise what a president or another historical figure's legacy is or should be, we tend to think that whatever the horse race in the moment is, you know, who's up, who's down, who's popular, who's not, is going to be a lasting type of image, but it wasn't, and he was one of the first presidents to actually undergo that process of revision afterward. Uh do you have to be a history buff or really into politics to be able to enjoy the book? No, I think if you like politics and you like history, you'll probably enjoy the book. But I think, I think you know, I've tried to write it for a general audience. So I think anybody who has a curiosity about that period, about the Civil War, um, or who just wants to delve a little bit into that period uh, would probably enjoy it. How did these aides shape our current image of who Lincoln was? They, uh, after Lincoln's death, uh, they worked with Robert Todd Lincoln, the president's son, uh, and they had exclusive access to his papers uh, until 1947, long after they died. Uh, and they, they, shaped, uh, they shaped the image by writing a very large biography, which was serialized widely in the 1880s. And so that is most of the stories we know about Lincoln as president or in the years just before his presidency, they come from these two guys. If Abraham Lincoln were to, to look at America today, what do you think he would say? Based on what you know of him, what you've learned of him, what would he say about America today? Uh, I think that there, there are plenty of things that would surprise him, but I, you know, I think the most remarkable uh, thing he'd note is that you know, the, the social and political revolution that he was part of ushering in has come full circle. He'd be amazed, uh, I think, and proud to see an African-American president sitting in the White House behind the desk where he sat. From Illinois or who settled in That's right. Illinois. That's right. And there's, do you think that children could get something out of this, or is this too above the heads? What age group would you say this uh, well, is? Well, this is really for adults, I think. You know, I think a good high school student uh, high school. would, would okay. be able to read right. high school, college, and above. Very Thanks, good. Joshua. Yeah, uh, thanks Joshua's going to be signing copies of his book at 2 p.m. tomorrow at McIntyre's Fine Books in Pittsburgh. Thank